If your MacBook is running hotter than usual, it may be because dust has gone into the cooling fans and other spaces, preventing adequate cooling of the entire device. We can demonstrate how to thoroughly clean your MacBook so you can quickly resume your computer-related work or enjoyment. It may sound difficult to open up your MacBook to work on the interior, but since you'll only be removing the bottom cover, it's actually quite simple. You only need to remove a few screws to gain access to the main circuitry and cooling fans. Step 1. Removing the bottom cover Take your 5 pentalobe screwdriver, turn your MacBook so that the bottom is facing up, and remove the screws from the edges of the notebook. Pro tip, because some screws are various lengths, keep note of each one and where it goes. With the exception of the more recent touch bar models, which we'll discuss in more detail, this process is essentially the same for any modern MacBook. After removing each screw, you can lift up the bottom cover. A few tiny clips that keep the back cover in place from the center are also present on some MacBook models, but you may carefully pry up the cover to remove them. You'll need to take a few extra steps if your MacBook is more recent, 2016 and newer. You can elevate the lower edge with the aid of a suction cup so that you can insert an opening pick and release the concealed clips on either side. Slide the entire lower case down after that, and you're ready to go. Step 2. Find the fans You may now access the internal parts of your MacBook by opening the bottom shell. You won't likely need to search very hard for any dust accumulation. Next, look for the cooling fans. Depending on the laptop model, there can be more than one. Because cooling fans draw air from the surrounding region, the greatest dust will likely be accumulated where they resemble circular, black turbines. Therefore, you could have a little cleaning to do if your home is dusty. Step 3. Blow out that dust. Take your can of compressed air now and begin blowing out any noticeable dust. Blowing air gently will help move any debris. Don't use too much force because you run the risk of harming components. As soon as you reach the fans, use your finger to hold them still and prevent them from spinning while applying compressed air. Otherwise, a fan would rotate more quickly than it should, which could harm the motor and bearings. The compressed air should work, though con swabs can help if there is some dust that is extremely difficult to remove. Reattach the bottom cover once you're done, making sure to clip everything in place. The bottom of the MacBook can then be completely replaced using the screws you have saved. You can now work, play games, or watch films without worrying about getting burned by your laptop's bottom.